Hey guys, it's Trish with your weekly horoscope for January 27th through February 2nd. Okay, so this week there's a grand cardinal cross in the skies and that's requiring action. Okay, and it's demanding justice for power abuses. The sun conjuncts Mercury and that's bringing energy and focus to communications and negotiations. Mars sextiles Black Moon Lilith adding more passion to the fire and there's a psychic grand water trine and that's allowing us to tune into spiritual and psychic realms and it demands that we trust instinct and intuition above all else. Saturn sextiles Neptune that brings self-discipline to working alone and Mars squares Pluto that will bring out the stalkers and the combative personalities out and whatever it is that you obsess about. There's four T-squares appearing in the skies, okay? All four are either exiting at Mars and Aries or Uranus and Aries, okay? It's time to get off, the def uh, get off the fence already and make up your mind about something. Venus transit to, transits to Uranus and Chiron and Aries for sentimental romance and vulnerability. You decide. It's all about what energy you focus on. You can be the victim or you can be the victor. Sunday, there's a grand cardinal cross in the skies, it's, it requires action and it deals with power abuses and leadership. This is a call to bring balance and justice to those who govern and rule and for us to be more humane in our own positions of authority. Mars and Aries lends the courage and the drive to make changes, to take chances. Patience and diplomacy will help to, uh, when, to thoroughly deal with problems effectively. Watch out for anxiety or nervousness as people may be high strong, aggressive, and angry. Numbers for that day now we have four eights okay so there's leadership ability um people are really rising to the challenge this is about something uh that's made a lasting impression on them and they're going to speak up and make a lasting impression on everyone else we also have numbers of 27 and 22 for the day so 27 is nine it's about unconditional love it's about purging something it's about an ending okay 22 is about manifestation peace and grounding Monday your imagination is running wild and you feel the urge to create something beautiful you will get an opportunity to evolve transform and grow by asserting your self-respect you have a very powerful conflict that you're being confronted with your emotions are amplified and it may be hard to cope primary fears may return and there could be a difficult trauma drama or loss involving women and or children Partners could be unhappy or dissatisfied in the relationship and they may express this in an impulsive way. There could be a meltdown as we face our failures and deficits. Your mission is to build strength gradually in order to overcome being vulnerable to negative energies. You may be interested in occult or esoteric pursuits at this time as you are searching for answers. Who doesn't love a good mystery? Numbers for that day are 28 and 23. Okay, so there's confidence, there's boundaries there's changes there's gifts and surprises and there's also completion of a cycle holding space for the new and new beginnings as a matter of fact we have two ones double new beginnings Tuesday the moon is in Sagittarius with optimistic adventures slated for the docket your insight is extraordinary your attitude independent and you're willing to get her done you love to learn and you love to enjoy your life you're feeling pretty generous too so watch your spending you are in need of lots of personal space and you don't feel like being tied down right now. It's going to be hard to get your attention or it's going to be hard to pay attention. <laughs> You're thinking about what being free, what freedom feels like, okay, way back when. And you could be very rigid in your opinion, um, not wanting to change your mind about anything, okay. You've, you've already decided. <laughs> your anger may be all but impossible to control as you think, I cannot do this anymore. You may have trouble controlling your temper at this time, making you unpredictable, so think before you act. Don't be impulsive. There's also a psychic grand water trine in the skies, and that's allowing us to tune into spiritual and psychic realms. We are supposed to trust our instincts and intuition above all else. And in that psychic, uh, grand psychic water trine, there is Chiron in Pisces, and it's at the 29th degree, which is anoretic. Um, it's 29, it, it also equals zero. It's the last degree of the sign in which something that is like the last ditch <laughs> attempt of this energy to express itself. So it, it's 
it signifies karmic mastery, okay? And because it's Chiron and Pisces, it's like connecting to the collective or spiritual transformation. So this grand psychic water trine involves karmic mastery and spiritual transformation, okay? And this is after a life filled with drama and trauma. Numbers for that day are crazy, okay? I see a lot of nines. <laughs> uh, in fact, let me give you the numbers of the day first. It's 9 and 24. So this is about purging, healing, unconditional love, endings. And it's about giving care to someone or taking care of your own personal needs or social responsibility or doing what you love. Okay, so you could be taking care of somebody and helping them to uh, purge or expunge something. Okay, so one, two three we've got three nines okay so there is a major purge of something going on and then we have two 19s which is beginnings and endings okay so 19 also equals 10 which also equals one so it's an ending that's going to it's a culmination of something completion of a cycle hold and as you hold space for the new and new beginnings and then we also have eight which is the number of leadership achievement it's about legacy it's leaving a lasting impression okay so a lot a lot of nines that day something is going to be healed or something is going to be purged around that time Wednesday you should be looking and, and feeling pretty good it's time to attack that to-do list there two sides of the coin there could be harmony at home and possible promotions at this time Although there is a possibility of problems in love affairs, so please be aware. Someone could express their unhappiness about unfulfilled needs. They could have, they could be dealing with some kind of trauma, drama, or loss related to women and or their children. Okay, somebody could also be trying to fool you or themselves and you are susceptible at the moment, so don't buy any igloos in Alaska. <laughs> it, this could be a period of alternative facts and distractions being used to elicit certain responses um, of fear and anger. It, it could be fraudulent communication or actions, so beware of schemers and scammers. You might be needing a new challenge or a new change as you might be getting bored or you're just over what's going on. Someone could be acting very vain, um, so you yourself beware of overconfidence. Your health should be good and you're feeling generous and protective of others. Just remember to use your common sense. You need to build strength in order to address a powerful conflict in your life. Although you're brutally aware of yours and others' faults and failures, remember this is a process, okay? So be patient with yourself and others. This is a change for soul growth, so give yourself and others the time they need to evolve. Numbers for that day are 30 and 16, okay? So 16 is like enlightenment, um, psychic downloads, awakenings, and the 30 is about new ideas, new beliefs, new ways of thinking, okay, as you trust in the universe and hold space for the new. Thursday, the moon travels to Capricorn again, lending a heaping serving of some serious discipline, organization, and ambition. With Saturn, Pluto, and the North Node still in this sign, you are dedicated to putting your energy into building your future. You're very determined, eager to learn, and patient. You might feel like isolating yourself in some way, while you take care of business. For some, they could be playing the workaholic card in order to avoid dealing with emotional difficulties, insecurities, and trust issues. For others, they can be using work as a type of meditation to solitarily work things out without distraction, okay, as they disperse an abundance of mental and or physical energy, transmuting and expressing it. Feeling creative? Put it to good use and get things in order, your style. This would be a good time for expression through physical labor as one of the rewards is feeling more grounded and added tranquility to an already crazy time. Numbers for that day are 31, 17, and we have additional transits of 14 and 14. So 31 is about not necessarily being alone in your beliefs, but standing up for your beliefs. New beginnings for, uh, of new ideas, new beginning to believe in something new. 17 equals eight, so it's it's something that's going to take root and last a lifetime, okay? This is leadership ability, it's legacy, it's achievement. 14 represents 
It's a number of temperance, okay? It's about happiness and justice, and that is through asserting your boundaries, having confidence in yourself, making changes, which uh, it, five is also the number of surprises and gifts, okay? So you might learn something uh, through the news or social media about somebody expressing their ideas or their beliefs, or you may be the one expressing your beliefs or ideas. Friday, obsessive personalities take center stage. Now, this could be the unlikely hero swooping in to save the day by speaking out against fill in the blank. On the flip side, this feels almost like stalker energy, like a possible kidnapping or a hostage situation or somebody that's just mad as hell and not taking it anymore going postal. Think raving lunatic. <laughs> Think shock jockey. Different ends of the spectrum, but same difference. Someone is unhappy about a forced change and they are targeting others instead of owning their anger. It can be really hard when you're forced to do something or be something that is against your beliefs or your better judgment. And with four separate T-squares today, holy crap, you're going to have to make some kind of judgment call. Okay, All the T-squares involve the North Node, so get ready to change your future and where you're headed. Some people will get their lives completely changed around with no escape. Okay, With all four exiting either through Uranus in Aries, breakthroughs, destruction of authorities and beliefs, and change, risking it all, or Mars and Aries, taking the risk, taking action, driven to change, there will be changes, whether you like it or not. On the flip side, Uranus, Mars, and Aries are smack of aggressive, violent energy, so there could be sudden, surprising uprisings, unexpected violence, anger, and outrage. Uranus is about to reach a critical degree also, the 29th degree in Aries. This means earthquakes, and they will get bigger and bigger and bigger in magnitude as Uranus moves through into Taurus. Get ready for movement of the Earth, which is dirt, landslides, land sinking, sinkholes opening up, um, any kind of displacement of land. Additional surprises? Uh, could be from someone who's usually mellow, quiet, and unassuming. Could be volcanoes erupting, earthquakes, aggressive explosions, or fires happening suddenly, whether or not there was previous activity. Like, like some, someone could suddenly switch sides after seeking their inner guidance. This could be in any area, okay? In fact, it could be in every area. Religion, politics, beliefs, science, etc. you name it, <laughs> okay? Could be sudden technology, discovery, space travel, or even disclosure. Some type of cataclysmic feeling event that could shock and rock you to the core. Hey, maybe we get to meet aliens, who knows? <laughs> Numbers for that day are 1 and 15, okay? 1, as we all know, is new beginnings, and 15 equals 6. So this is about healing, it's about giving care, it's showing your love through service, doing what you love, and taking care of others' needs, being socially responsible, okay? Now the numbers have changed. Now we are in the second month. And it's still a 12 universal year, a year of surrender, but it's the second month and the 14th universal month. Okay, so there's a lot of expression, a lot of change, uh, people standing up for what they believe in. Um, oh, surprises and change, big ones, okay? And it's going to be all over the media. It's going to be all over the news. It's going to be all over Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is. It's going to be everywhere. <laughs> Additional transits. We have 25, 25, and 28, okay? So that's 7, 7, 10. That is enlightenment. It's rude awakenings. It's psychic downloads. It's, excuse me, sudden divine inspiration and completion of a cycle. And we also have three threes uh, in the day, too. We have 12, 21, and 21. So this is about expressing your authenticity by expressing what you truly believe, okay? And with 14 thrown in the mix, this is a verbal expression, telling the world what you are and who you are and what you're all about. Saturday can be sentimental and romantic, but there will be some hesitation as to your boundaries. And it's because your beliefs and practices uh, with finances and possessions have always been tied to your vulnerability and your insecurity. 
Don't agree or disagree for the sake of having company, okay? Stand your ground. Assert those boundaries. Think before you act or speak, though, as there could be impulsivity and sudden changes, okay? You could be challenged by some external events that requires you to surrender or sacrifice something in addition to your own personal karma. This will be a second chance to do things right. Numbers for that day. Now, guys, we have 29, 29, 29, which is 11, 11, 11. So something very important connected to events that transpired back in November will come to fruition today okay there's a manifestation portal and you're manifesting it <laughs> things are balancing out and there are psychic downloads uh intuition enlightenment guys this looks like enlightenment because we have numbers of 2 and 16 today so in fact we have 2 2 16 11 11 11 so it's like a whole bunch of people are going to be enlightened and this was wish for it's like more people are joining the collective i don't know if it's going to be on the side of bad a side of good i don't know red blue red or the blue hmm. i don't know some people might be picking purple <laughs> see what i'm saying we don't know just have to wait and see okay physical symptoms to watch out for this week issues with the face sinuses brain eyes ears anything that hangs on your head your stomach your digestive system body fluids, lymph glands, the soft part of your midsection, your thighs, sciatic nerves, your hips, arteries, liver, bones, back, spine, knees, teeth, calves, ankles, Achilles tendon, circulatory system, feet, glands. Why do I feel like I'm teaching a kindergartner body parts? <laughs> All right, guys, so that is your horoscope for the week. I'll see you, check in with you guys next week. See ya. Love ya. Bye.